people who know the book, not sort of. We need to be people who give ourselves to doctrine. I was out in Edmonton last week. Talked to a brother there. He's an older man in the assembly. I was staying in his home. He said, you know, uh, one of the most famous hockey players in the history of the game of hockey lived for a long time in Edmonton. Uh, this brother would take a walk in the evening sometimes, and he walked by a, a hockey arena. And sometimes the light would be on, and he'd, he'd open the door, and in the height of his career, there was Wayne Gretzky. Nine o'clock at night, the only one in the arena. With a little bullseye strapped to the back of the net. With about 200 pucks slapping that in there. Well, he's a natural. <laughs> Look, if it's worth it for Wayne Gretzky to give himself wholly to putting a little frozen puck into a net, what's it worth to you, Christian? To know God and to do His will and to help Him establish the kingdom, to see souls saved, to become a man of the book, to glorify the Lord Jesus. What's the worst thing? Is it a hobby? Give yourself wholly to it, in business, with God, and He'll do business with you, and you'll save yourself, not from the penalty of sin, you'll save yourself from a ho-hum, humdrum, half-hearted life. You'll save yourself from wasted years. You'll save yourself from regret. And you'll save those that hear you. Other people will thank God you ever came their way because you gave yourself wholly to these things.